Seth Walder here alongside Manish Mehta. The 2-2 two two New York Jets are getting ready to face off against the undefeated Houston Texans. Earlier this week, Manish, the Jets learned they lost receiver Santonio Holmes for the season. How's Mark Sanchez going to fare without his number one target? Well, it's a devastating blow. Uh, I mean, obviously Sanchez was struggling even with Holmes in the lineup. He's completing a league low 49% of his passes. Now he's going to have to do what he hasn't done to this point in his career, which is elevate the play of guys around him. He's got an unproven group with Chas Shillings and Stephen Hill if he plays, along with Jeremy Curley and Clyde Gates, who they just picked off the street a, a few weeks back. So it's going to be a daunting challenge, but I think that he is definitely going to have to raise the level of play of these receivers around him if the Jets have any chance to make any kind of headway in the passing game moving forward. Um, you know, nobody wants to see Darrell and Tone and, and Dustin and Stephen Hill out. But at the same time, you know, um, uh, Kyle Wilson's not shying away from the opportunity. I know Chad Shillings and Jeremy Curley and Clyde Gates, all those guys, they're not shying away. They're not backing down from any kind of challenge. So it's, uh, it's a good test for all of us, and uh, myself included. So we got to elevate our play and, and make each other better, be accountable to each other, and be sharp. I think it, it adds more pressure to us up front to give them more time. You know, last week we, we didn't do a very good job at, at protecting him, and, uh, so we got to do that to give him time so that he can make his reads um, and, and do the things that we know he's capable of doing. So without Antonio Holmes, Seth, how do you think the Jets will utilize Tim Tebow, who's only been in for about 12% of the snaps through the first four games? Do you think he'll have a greater role? Yeah, Manish, I think you got to think that he's going to be in more against the Houston Texans without Holmes. They're going to have to play it aggressive. They're going to have to, you know, show something from the Wildcat. It's basically been fruitless so far. Uh, Tim Tebow is going to have to be a part of this offense if they have a hope of winning this game. Going forward, I'm not sure that he's going to be the starting quarterback. I don't, I don't see that happening unless the Jets really have to do that. But, yeah, they're going to need this Wildcat to be a part of this offense and, and make some gains there. You know, I'm just, um, you know, ready and, and anxious for when my number's called to just try to help this team. And, um, you know, the same attitude I've had, you know, the whole time. And, you know, uh, when my number's called, I just want to have competitive, competitive excellence to help these guys. And have you guys talked about that more at all? Just no, ma'am. Uh, just whenever they ask me. So you never know. Manish, everyone's talking about how, how tough a game this is going to be against the Texans. How do you think it's going to work out? Well, the Jets are a mess right now. I don't think that's a secret. And they're going up against the the wrong team at the wrong time. Now, I don't think there's necessarily a good time to face the Houston Texans, but this team, the Jets are reeling, and they're facing a, a team that's loaded on offense and defense. Uh, I think it's going to be difficult for the Jets to protect Mark Sanchez, especially going up against J.J. Watt. Uh, in terms of gaining yardage on the ground, the Jets have obviously struggled with that. They're going up against the, the number one scoring defense, the number one defense uh, in terms of total yardage given up. So I think it's going to be a daunting task. I think when it's all said and done, the Texans will run away with this game and hide pretty early. I don't think it's going to be too competitive, even though I think the Jets will put forth a better effort. I think the talent level just isn't there to match Houston. So, Seth, how do you see this game unfolding? You know, on the national stage in front of their home crowd, I think the Jets are going to put forth a better effort. They're going to respond to the criticism they've faced, but they're going to still come up short. I expect them to lose by about a touchdown. 24-17 is how I see it shaking out.